I hope I can be in the Olympics because I love soccer a lot. She stood out and everyone's always known that she had that, that extra something special per se. So a result such as this is seen more frequently in elite level athletes competing in sprint, power, strength, sport. This test is a profiling for genetics and this ACTN3 gene. And this ACTN3 gene has uh, basically two components. Uh, you can either have a power, strength, or sprinting portion of the gene, an endurance portion of the gene, or a combination of both genes. Athletes with, at the elite level, seem to need this gene present in their muscles, but it's at the very elite level in specific sports like sprinting, for instance. Your position, we've got to stay in our position. We've got to stay on the side we're supposed to. Meg, you're going to start. Listen. You and Paige stay on your side of the field. Uh, Elizabeth mentioned the Olympics. I mean, that's one of her aspirations. And so this tool helps me realize that she has this power, uh, strength, and sprint gene, which means that she's already in the 80 percentile of, this, of the athletes, the top athletes have this gene already. So this is our actual test. I think it's, it's been misconstrued to say that this explains uh, or we're saying that this test will tell you how good you're going to be or that you can be the next Olympic athlete, the next Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Michael Phelps, but it's not. It just tells you, it kind of illuminates a bit of a, a darker path on understanding what your body's going to be capable of as you, as you mature and go through life. Parents should not pursue this test. It is a single gene that they're testing for. For athletic performance, which is argu arguably one of the more complex traits, it's going to be governed by many genes and many different factors. Hi. How are you? All right. So what are you working on? I am isolating RNA. Okay. I'll be the best you have. Yeah. So um, that would not be good. So is this, this is stuff from your dissertation? Here? Correct. The hazard is that parents will use it to change what their children are doing, uh, direct them to certain activities or away from other activities. Find the middle, find the middle! Does it mean whether they have the gene or not that their, their, their uh, ability to succeed will happen? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, it's just a tool because obviously I, I believe that any child is nurtured with positive influence, with uplifting. You can do it. You can do it. Uh, you know, I think that's the most critical step we can take within raising our children. Find separation. Kara, get up there. Find some separation. Brenna, back post. <laughs> 